Hello friends, in the last lecture I have told you that we will be starting Ohm's law in this lecture but then I thought that we should do more, pro more problems on power absorbed and power generated so that the passive sign conventions of for power will be thorough for us. So I have selected about 8 problems. So let us do that one by one. This will be a very short video. Now let us take the first problem here. In the first problem you have been asked to find the power absorbed by the element. So you can clearly see that the current is entering the, the current is entering the positive terminal, right? So when the current enters the positive terminal, you put a plus sign in front, power absorbed is equal to a plus value. And what is the voltage value given? It is given to be 6 volt. The current is given to be 1 pico amperes. So it means the power will be 6 pico volts. Alright. Now in the next problem, let's see here what is happening. In the next problem, you can see that there is an element which has a voltage with a sign given as plus or minus 1 volt and the current is entering the positive terminal. The current is entering the positive terminal. So let us use sign conventions once again. So power absorbed is equal to entering positive terminal means plus sign and what is the voltage value? 1 volt into 10 milliamperes. This will give you 10 milliwatts. Okay. Let us take the third problem. In the third problem, you are having a current source. You are having a current source and you can clearly see that with the given voltage polarities, the current is leaving the positive terminal, right? See the current is leaving the positive terminal. Therefore, according to sign conventions, power absorbed will be equal to, we have to put a minus sign. Now what is the voltage? 10 volts multiplied by current is equal to 2 amperes. That is equal to minus 20 watts. Let us take the next problem. In this problem, again you have to find the power absorbed. As per the given current directions, you can see that the current is going like this and it is coming out of the positive terminal. Therefore, as sign convention suggests sir, that the power absorbed will be having a negative sign and the voltage is given to be 2 volts and the current is given to be 1 ampere. Therefore, this will be minus 2 watts. In the next problem, you can clearly see that we are having a dependent source here. So, let us see the current directions. You can clearly see that in the dependent source, the current is in such a way that it is coming out of the positive terminal. Coming out of the positive which is defined. So, therefore, here the power absorbed will be equal to put a negative sign because it is coming out of the positive terminal. The voltage is 2 and the current is 10 power minus 3 into I1. I1. And the I1 value is also given, which is minus 2 into 10 power minus 3 into 100 milliampere. You can find the value and calculate it in watts or milliwatts or anything that you like. Let us take the next one. In this question, 4 amperes, you can clearly see that it is entering the positive terminal, right? Just extend it a little bit, you can see that it is entering the positive terminal. So here according to passive sign conventions the power absorbed will be positive and what is the voltage given? The voltage given is 220 millivolt multiplied by 4 which is equal to 880 milliwatts. Okay. Let us take the next problem now. In the next problem you can clearly see that this current which is coming like this it is going out of the positive terminal, right? It is going out of the positive terminal. But what is the question which is asked here? The question which is asked, what is the power generated? So according to passive sign conventions, when current is moving out of the positive terminal, you put a plus sign. And what is the voltage value given here? Minus 3.8 volt. And what is the current value given here? It is minus 1.8. 75 amperes. So if you calculate the value here, you will be getting plus 6.6 .6 watts. Okay. So don't bother about saying changing any of the signs because what they have asked you have got. So don't bother changing this sign or this sign because you have the power of the sign conditions. Now the next question is what is the power delivered to the circuit terminal? So this is an important term to understand. They are asking 
what is the power delivered to the circuit in here? That means this is your circuit in here. Okay. So let me put it as C. So something, some source is delivering power to your circuit element, right? It is delivering power. And they are asking what is that power being delivered to the circuit element. So you have to think in terms of the element only. So power being delivered, power being delivered to the circuit element is nothing but power absorbed by the circuit element, right? With the power absorbed by the circuit element. So in this case, let us find what it is. The power absorbed, let us see the current direction. It is moving out of the positive terminal. Therefore, power absorbed will have a negative sign. And the value of current voltage is minus 8 e power minus 100 t into 3.2 amperes and this much amount of watts you will be getting. Now, this same question, we can term it, we can put it in a different way. What if the question was, what find the power delivered by the circuit element? Okay. What for example the question is power delivered by the circuit element. So if it is power delivered by the circuit element, that is power generated. Right? It is power generated. So let us find the power generated by passive sign convention. Of course, if I put just negative sign, if I put a negative sign for P observed, I am going to get that value, right? So let us use passive sign conventions in here. So you can clearly see that the current is leaving the positive terminal. The current is leaving the positive sign. So according to passive sign convention, you put a plus. You put a plus here and you put the voltage value multiplied by the current value. So that is the power generated. So whatever be the question, you understand the question, find whether you have to uh, uh, find the value of power absorbed or you have to find the value of power generated. Based on that, use the sign conventions and you will be getting the correct result. In the next lecture, definitely we will be starting the Ohm's law and I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.